If Colorado and the rest of the country are successful in slowing the spread of the coronavirus, in bending the curve, as they say, it will be because of one of two reasons. One is reality. The other would be an illusion. Mass testing will tell us if our social distancing is helping to slow the spread. But spotty, sporadic testing, that will also create the false perception that the spread is slowing. Because a really good way not to find something is not to look real hard for it. President Trump told governors this week he hadn't heard about testing being an issue in a while. Our Chris Vanderveen heard Colorado's testing concerns repeated again today. It has now become the public health care equivalent testing of a broken record. Testing capabilities. Yeah, for additional testing. Want to test people that for really testing. Isn't. Testing. For weeks, states and the president. The numbers have been incredible on testing. Promised more. And clearly, there are more tests being done now than a few weeks ago. But look at this. A week and a half ago, March 21st, that day, the state reported 870 people tested. The next day, 876. Using the state's own data, we analyzed each day's total and found fluctuations in those totals. Yesterday, for example, we found a one-day total that basically matched what the state reported back on March 22nd, more than a week ago. When our resources are limited, we will continue to focus it on those higher priorities like hospitalized patients, healthcare workers, and first responders. On the state health department's bi-weekly call today, incident commander Scott Bookman talked about what is now holding expanded testing back. I think we need to expand testing as widely as we can. Uh, the limitation currently to testing is really based on uh, the ability to get personal protective equipment and to conduct that swabbing. In other words, a continued shortage of the supplies needed to conduct the tests has resulted in a continued rationing of tests. For most patients, that means unless you're hospitalized, you will find it challenging to get tested. And when only the hospitalized are tested in mass, you can't exactly say what the virus is doing outside of hospital walls. At least today, we can say the number of completed tests went up again. 1,485 patients now know their results. For next, this is Chris Vanderveen. To give you our daily snapshot of where COVID-19 stands in Colorado at the end of the month, we know of 69 confirmed deaths. That is up 19 overnight, 509 hospitalizations, again, setting a single day record for the amount of increase there. There are 2,996 confirmed cases, many thousands more unconfirmed, and more than 16,000 people have been tested.